recall was my problem. I w had opportunities to speak and uh, I didn't have the capability of taking advantage of that opportunity. For example, uh, my position required that I uh, open a prayer service. So I got so difficult or so bad uh, during this development that uh, I couldn't put more than six letters, not words, letters, six letters together to make a word. And by the time uh, it came around for me, the time to speak, I could no longer speak because I couldn't put those six words together. So I, I realized that uh, I was well on the road to coming up with whatever Alzheimer's happens to be. Mm -hmm. it, it just frightened me. The major thing was that there was nothing I could do about it. Uh, obviously, at my age, which was uh, closing in on 90, and obviously I'd encountered times before when I would be stumped on something or other. Uh, and so I could, all I had to do was to consider for a while or read something that uh, brought back what I needed to know. And I was well on my way. But that didn't work anymore because even though I could maybe go to the book and read the words, as soon as I closed the book, the words were gone. So uh, in short, I was getting bad and I had no way of turning that around. I did. I, uh, I went to uh, uh, one of our major hospitals and spoke to some of the, the geriatric doctors and uh, I took pills of all kinds of things. I tried them all and uh, all they did was make me uh, a little bit less money than I had before. <laughs> One day I, I uh, opened up the newspaper and there was a statement in there about a fellow by the name of uh, Dr. Arred and uh, he said that he would he was going to tell us about his capability of healing Alzheimer's and of course we went to the to the uh, place and uh, were impressed and followed it up and as anyone can see I'm not uh, the smooth speaker that I used to be when I was uh, teaching school and so on, but I, I can assure you that I'm uh, many times better than I was just a few years ago. He put me on a, a regimen and I followed them all just as carefully as I could and uh, things just started to change. I, my, my recall was better and uh, I think it was about three months ago that this came to pass, three or four months. Uh, and uh, right now I am, I am by a factor of 50 better off uh, than I was and before I, before I uh, started this healing process. I guess it would be easy to, to really get discouraged because obviously I'm not the, the smooth talker that I once was, but uh, in order to appreciate what's happened to me, you'd have to be in my shoes and recognize how there was a time when all I had to look forward to was being unable to, to speak and, uh, 
and that's changed and I'm improving and I even if I stopped right now and never never got any better than I am I'd be factored better than I was when I met Dr. Red and uh, it's just it's difficult to describe how you feel when you start losing your capability of, uh, of speaking and interacting with people and it's it's a devastating thing a devastating thing right now I'm I'm just I, I, I think back about these things and it almost brings tears to my eyes but down deep, I'm just overjoyed by the understanding and the uh, assurance, almost, that uh, that that's behind me, and I have nothing to do now except keep improving. Well, first, I, I want to say that uh, there are two factors that who have brought me back and uh, Dr. Rad is one and uh, my wife is the other and uh, the, the two of them because I, it, when we first uh, sat down in Dr. Rad's office and uh, uh, it was primarily a conversation between Dr. Rad and my wife because I had no idea what in the world was going on. I, I knew what they were talking about, but it was I couldn't put it all into into a sequence. I began to improve. I was able to develop uh, this, the words that led to the improvement. Boy, it's as, as different as, as uh, day and night, or black and white. Let me give you an example. Uh, I was at one of the uh, physicians that was uh, that dealt with people with uh, that were losing their capabilities, and uh, uh, he sat he sat me down, and he uh, we were vis seemed just like a visit uh, and uh, the physician said I want to, I want to tell you about uh, something uh, three people their names were maybe Bob Jim and Henry and he said I want to talk about those but I don't want to talk about them right now but uh, I want you to uh, be very careful and, uh, and remember their names and then he went on and talked about uh, some things that were going on in the, in the area. And uh, after about 15 minutes, he said, okay, now let's get back to those three names. What were the names? And of course, I couldn't recall a single one, even though I had run them through my, my mind a dozen times there in the beginning. But it made me, it brought me to a tremendous uh, understanding that I no longer had the capable of uh, retaining uh, knowledge. Dr. Rad did give me hope and uh, uh, it, it was hope before we signed up for the program and uh, every, every meeting is bringing me back closer to uh, the man that I used to be.